Hey guys, my name is Dave, and welcome to another video. I'm sure the title of this video gives it away already, but today is my dad's birthday. I wanted to make um, a, a video today. First of all, Dad, happy birthday to you. I love you. Um, but I also wanted to, because I, I know he watches this channel every once in a while, so I don't know. It, it might be belated, might not, but still, same in stands. However, for the purpose of uh, this video, I wanted to talk about some aspects on how my dad's impacted my life, just kind of as a um, kind of as a gift, more or less. So, I guess for one, my humor, my adaptive humor, more or less cores off of. Um, I would say more off of my dad than my mom. I think some of my some of my personality does come from my mom, but when it comes to the humor, I think I get most of it from my dad. You'll my dad is hardcore dad jokes. If he could, I'm sure he would do it twenty four seven. Um, now I'm the kind of person who, admittedly, I claim to really hate dad jokes and have for a while. Quite some time at this point. The fact of the matter is I just don't like repetitiveness. Like, dad dad jokes that basically beat a dead horse. If that's how you like to phrase it. But, interesting thing about um, my dad is that he he has a tendency to pick the jokes ba in the adapted scenario at the current moment a lot of the time. Now, there are some exceptions where you kind of just grasp, set a straw, and throw something out there. But a lot of the time, and this is where I get my aspects of my humor from, he bases it off of the current moment. He also bases it off of, and this is another thing that impacts me, and it kind of transitions over to me in a way, a lot of reminiscent scenarios. A good example of this... Um, My grandfather, um, his late father, uh, rest in peace to him. I brought this up at the beginning of the year. Um, he would like create these derby songs um, that kind of just became a family staple. And this is something that my dad would constantly reference in the right situations. And it's something that has kind of passed down to, I think, kind of all of us, me and my two siblings, um, to a very large degree, from what I've noticed. I mean, maybe not entirely, but it's large, a large enough degree where it's, no, it's faint, it's at least noticeable enough. Um, I think my dad has impacted my sense of humor in several ways in the sense where my adapt my capabilities to adapt into the groups I'm in I'm pretty sure I get that from him part of it does come from my mom as well but a lot of the humor comes at least from when memory serves comes from my dad and I mean like intentionally put out there humor both have both my parents have their own styles of humor, but my dad specifically is kind of, for lack of another term, in your face. Maybe that's not directly the right term, but it's more like burns, um, like the kind of the kind of humor you would usually only tell to people who you are close friends with. Um, no, I'm going to throw it out there. I do get some of my humor from my mom. The reason this is standing out is because of what I've already said. I'm reminiscing on my dad today. Um, and just kind of talking about how he has impacted my life. Now, this is kind of personality-wise, though. Um, another aspect in personality that I get from him is my... Albeit limited on my end, sense of logic. My dad is the kind of person who 
because he's an accountant, he relies on the numbers, on the data. And to a specific degree, I'm that way. Um, I'm pretty sure I get it from him, but the way I approach it is very different from him. However, just the fact alone that I you know, I use logic and reasoning to any degree, even if it's not always accurate on my end, that aspect alone, regardless of how accurate my end is, I definitely get from him, grow inspiration from him on that. Now these are just personality aspects. There are several other things, but these are kind of the ones that stick out the most for me, um, just because to, at this current day, these are the parts that impact me the most. However, when it comes to like the relationship that he and I have, like bondingly wise, that goes down a fairly different path. I am very, very close to both my parents. I always have been. My stupid child self has created hiccups every once in a while, I'm sure. <laughs> the ones that have kind of gone over uh, heads, but just because of the, th it's like an in the moment, it's like, really? Really you're doing this, Dave? Really? Kind of thing. But nothing impactful in the future. Um, it that aspect alone, that is something that, that's the reason I have such a congruently good bond with both my parents. Um, but to focus more on my dad for this aspect, I'll actually reiterate on my mom's next birthday, which actually won't be till next year, but on my mom's next birthday, I'm thinking of doing the same thing that I'm doing now. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. With my dad, when it comes to like the bond we created, I think when it comes to like financial stability, those aspects are what really kind of emphasize on what's created the bond that the two of us have. I'm not gonna go into detail on like the finances too much because that's an extremely confidential thing. I'm not gonna talk too much on it. But I will at least admit, because I'm between a spender and a saver, I have a habit to be more of a spender than a saver. Every once in a while I'll try to dip my toe, even recently, into trying to save, but because of just certain circumstances I'm not going to get to, this is in the past, not right now, but in the past because of these circumstances, I've failed to stick to that pattern. Um, a pattern that I have recently requested his help in and he was more than willing um but with more frequent meetups on that kind of thing now with all that being said even with all my personal failings um to either save in the past or to do certain financial aspects that would benefit me as a person as many times as I've failed at this in the past, my my dad has never just downright given up. He's had moments where he's had to take steps back out of irritation, you know, and as an accountant, he's very, very knowledgeable on how to properly balance money, how to save things, how to categorize them. I mean. This is literally what an accountant does. Well, one of several things, but this is one of the things. And because of this, he has, on several occasions, he could have just been like, I'm done helping, you're on your own from now on. Obviously, I wouldn't be saying this kind of stuff if he has actually done this, which because he hasn't. This, he has shown probably more patience for me <laughs> when it comes to my financial failings more than, honestly, more than the amount of patience I can give to a lot of people at a lot of times. 
Now, this patience I get from both my parents, but when it comes to certain specific attributes of it, I mean, that comes from him, other attributes come from my mom, but since, when, when, it, when it comes to, like, I would say maybe restrictive patience, in other words, whenever I... When it's something database, let's leave it at that. And I, ha yeah, you kind of have to sit there and wait. Like I guess a good example of this, my patience or lack thereof, depending on the how much I've gone into it, for editing some videos, like um, the let's plays that we have on this channel. Photoshop can be a pain in the butt at times, like an extreme pain in the butt. The amount of patience I have for in my perseverance for going through that, I no doubt really get that from him. Now, he's been helping me financially for past, I would say, eight years, nine years at this point. Something like that. And I'm not including, like, when I was living with my parents. I'm trying... Ever since I first moved down to my parents' place. And it's something that Admittedly, especially in the past, my actions probably haven't always shown, but it's something I've always been grateful for. My actions have a tendency to not show how I actually feel a lot of the time, because... Naivety, I guess? I don't know. I don't know if that's the right term for it. However, this is like current time. Current time, how my dad has always been impacted my life in a positive way, and that's to help me with the finances that I've gone through, outside of caring for the other, much more personal stuff. But what are some good memories that I have? Some humorous things that involved me and him? Well, one story definitely comes to mind. It's because something that my dad brought up recently, actually. This happened years ago. Um... We were attending uh, just a little dinner, family dinner, uh, at a little kind of, I think it was like a dine-in. Imagine like a food truck, but instead of a truck, it's like a tiny little building. Um, it was a burger joint. And I, I, it was brought up to me recently, and I'm kind of glad he brought this up because this is kind of humorous now. At the time, like, I bear in mind, I love spicy foods. I'm from an area that spicy foods are a big thing. I love spicy. Um, and I knew this at the time, so I ordered a jalapeno burger. But holy crap. My young, naive self was not ready for jalapenos yet. I usually, at the time, I think it was like a... Like, I like spicy things, but I guess my, my taste buds weren't to that degree that they are now. I eat jalapeno burgers all the time now. But then there was this specific one where it was like... It was just... I don't know. It was very... It was too spicy for my young tongue. I took a couple bites and I was done. I mean, at the time, in the moment, my dad was pretty irritated by it, but... During the discussion that we had recently, I remember him telling me that he looks back and he just laughs. He finds it humorous. In the moment, he was irritated, but just it's one of those things where my stupid rear end just kind of creates this memory of something dumb involving that just to chuckle at. And there are several of these other circumstances, too. He, he would always... As, as a kid, going to school, we want to sleep in like any kid would. I don't want to go to school. Five more minutes, you know, that stereotype. I was definitely that kid. My dad used to jump on me. He used to jump on me all the time to get me up. <laughs> that transitioned up until I think... I think it transitioned up until I was about, I'd say maybe... Right, like right before I moved out. Um, so, yeah, about eight-ish years ago. Yeah. 
he did that for so long. And as irritating the moments as I was those things, I look back and it just makes me laugh. One thing I really have always loved about um, spending time with him, he's very energetic. He has, and he has like, it's like he has this giant energy ball that he just shoves in his mouth and contains in his stomach. Once it's gone, he shoves another one. <laughs> That large chunk of energy that he gets, he has shared it amongst me, my sister, and my brother for, at this point, decades. And it's some it's one thing that has always bound him to the three of us in a very, very good way. He's always been a very stern man. And a very disciplinary man, but nothing that's very... It's never been anything... Like, when you think of disciplinary and stereotypes, you always think of, like, someone who would, like, spank someone or whip someone if given the time era. Like, those kind of stereotypes. He's never been that way. When I say he's been disciplinary, he's stern. He's very verbally stern. And his punishments when it comes to, you know, doing something wrong, more matched up to the idea of... Like, he would still take action. But when I looked at, like, when I, when I thought through this video, I looked at the um, circumstances and I thought, well, it makes more... It's, like, based off the actions that he's made, I would say the disciplinary measures came from the mindset, intentional or not, of... Your punishment will come to you in due time. Sometimes it's reinforced, you know, because parents. Proper punishments can be reinforced at times in a, you know, very kid caring way, kid friendly way, but still, to, again, discipline. Um, but most of the time it was very verbal. Stern, verbal, and disappointing. That's the kind of thing that my dad's always done. It's something that. It's something that I think both my parents kind of adapted into over time. But I think that sternness comes from the level of energy and the connection that not just me and my siblings, but my mom, his parents, his siblings, etc., etc. We, I think that anybody who has known him has grown a very specific bond that you can't just release unless done from his end i'm not going to go into any kind of example of this because this hits the realm of what could be considered very sensitive but that's one thing i've always liked about him i've always loved about him that energy and the connections that once you make you just can't easily break that's something that I look at him and go, I aspire to do that. And that's something that I have loved and always will love about my father. And, I mean, I could go into more details about how many stories I can talk about with them, but I don't want to make this video too long. So, with that being said, um, when this video comes out, I'm actually probably having dinner with my family. Celebrate said, um... His said birthday at the moment. Wow, I didn't know how to word that for a moment. Um, but, Dad, if you're watching this either on your birthday or in the future, um, I do want to wish you a happy birthday. I probably already said it in person, um, but you really do mean a lot to me. And I am so sorry for <laughs> all the years that I have made your life a living Hell to a fault, to a fault, I am so sorry for all the anguish, um, but thank you for everything that you have done for me. Um, it really, it always has mean, meant a lot to me, even if I failed to show it. I hope to aspire to become the attributes that you have shown to me 
along with the, all that optimism, all the energy I was talking about, and all the, the different serious matters, I whether it's within a weakness of mine or not, I hope that in the future, I'm never going to become you, but I'm not going to not try. So, Dad, thank you for everything that you've done for me over the course of the 30 years that I've been a nuisance. Jokingly, I'm saying this jokingly, but a nuisance to you. And happy birthday, Dad. I love you very much, and thank you guys for watching this little tangent um, birthday uh, reminiscing vlog that I've made. Um, yeah. Thanks again for watching, guys. Once again, happy birthday, Dad. I love you. And with, I will see all of you, family or not, later.